The book of Hebrews is a powerful book. And it was written right during that time of transition when the uh, older saints, many of them had already gone on to heaven. And there was kind of like a, a new generation of believers. And um, the writer of this book wrote that uh, these words to this group of people. And uh, the encouragement was to cause the church to rally at that point, to go forward. And in much of the book, he spends time explaining to us exactly who Christ Jesus was as a priest king and his uh, moving among us. But in the 11th chapter, the uh, writer of this book, I mean, he just begins to rally the troops. And it begins to talk about faith. And we call this chapter the roll call of faith because it's inspiring. It's stirring. It, it, it reaches right down to where we are as Christian people to help us to say, hey, let's keep going here. And he begins this chapter with these words. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I don't think that there are words anywhere on the planet that speak like these words speak. It's kind of like it just goes down to the very core of your being to give you explanation about something that many people are uh, without understanding of. Because when he tells us that faith is substance. It's substance of things hoped for. In other words, hope is something that's uh, spiritual in nature. You don't always uh, be able to, let's just say this, you can't hold on to it because as a tangible thing, it does not exist. But yet the writer says there's substance to it because it becomes a part of who you are. And it causes you to have faith because you have hope. But then also, he says, it's also the evidence of things not seen. Again, not tangible, but very, very spiritual. And that really is the uh, uh, essence of everything that he's saying here. It's all spiritual because it gathers around the reality that we believe that there is a higher power. And faith is a way that we reach out to that higher power. And you come to the sixth verse where it says that faith, without faith, it is impossible, impossible to please God. Now, I'm telling you something. When you, when you say something's impossible, that's, that's pretty high standard because how many things do you know that are absolutely impossible? But our writer says, without faith, you cannot please God. And that's why it's so important. And that's why we're going to spend this whole week just talking about faith. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.